My name's Tom Dunn. Uh, I live in uh, Chilwall in Liverpool. I'm uh, 60 years of age and uh, I was diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's when I was 58 years of age. Nothing was really fine before Tommy was diagnosed with um, Alzheimer's disease. I think about 10 years ago he sort of changed. It's like you were looking in a mirror back at yourself and thinking, you're not making sense to yourself, you know. And there used to be feelings when I'm talking to people that they couldn't understand me. He was not coping very well with things and he never spoke to me um, like he used to. I just remember being in the room and it just went all blank. I got to see this psychiatrist uh, from that moment. The life all changed because he put me in touch with the people at Mosley Hill, the support group. Come back that I was showing the signs of early onset dementia, you know, Alzheimer's. When Tommy got diagnosed, it was a little bit of a relief because now I know why he was terrible with money and different things. And yet he's so clever with other things. You think, oh no, no it's not me, you know. I can think, you know. But you've got that fear that you are going to be locked away. Mersey Care and Mosley Hill, they've, they've actually saved me life. I'd have been sitting in that chair there and I just vegetated. When uh, well asked me to be involved in this these working groups and that, it was, it was like a, a new lease of life, you know, it, it gave me the buzz back that I, I used to get when I went to work and, you know, I felt, oh, I've got something I can contribute to uh, society again and I can actually help people that are uh, suffering. I use that word and I correct myself on that word because we don't suffer with dementia, we live with dementia. The um, fella that organises the Everton Community uh, Memory Dementia Group came over and invited him to come along. I used to, I used to always go and watch Everton Football Club, you know, without failing. Give a good week's work away just so I could go and watch, watch the Blues, you know, and actually get involved in Everton in the community. The good thing now is they're going to work with Mosley Hill, the groups are, the, the groups are coming together. Golf has been uh, a godsend for me and for Tommy. Joyce would get me up, she'd say, come on, you're not sitting around this house, go up the golf, like, you know. I found out, oh, well, you still play golf, you know, it's strange, like, you know, I thought that would go. And after they do be playing around, they go, well, how can you have an Alzheimer's and you play golf and you can talk and stuff like that? I think because they think you've got Alzheimer's that you haven't got the intelligence to talk, you know, so yeah, there is stigma really weird sometimes, you know, they, they come up and they say, and I'm sitting here and they say, oh, how's Tommy? <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, hello. <laughs> you know, and they be talking about me as if I'm not there, and it's really strange. Music here have given us the chance to actually be heard, and I, I think it's great. I actually had one woman at one of the talks I did, she came up to me afterwards and she said, my daughter's got mental health problems, she says, I just realised that we talk about it and round it. She says, I've never talked to her. She says, I'm going to go home and talk to her in future. And I thought, well, that's one difference in me, so that's one good thing. Mercy Care have um, told us what we to expect in the future. And to be honest with you, I don't really like to think about it too much because it upsets me. Obviously, I know that uh, Alzheimer's is a progressive uh, illness, you know, it'd be, you're not going to get any better with it. I'm worried that I'm not going to see my granddaughter grow up uh, the way I'd like to. That's why I live every second when she does come. I just love playing with it. I mean, she, she is uh, exactly what I want people to be because she'll talk to me and she'll listen to me, you know, and she'll hang on to every word you say. I mean, we, we can learn a lot from children in, in respect of listening. Once your partner or your loved one has been diagnosed with um, Alzheimer's disease, I think the best thing to do is just have patience and listen to them. If someone's just been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, the first thing I would say to them is, don't be afraid. There is loads of help and support out here. Make sure you get it. We will listen to you and we will get you involved. Mercy Care represents a lifeline to me and to my wife. If I've got too much of my wife, I know, I know that she can pick that phone up and get, get in touch with someone.